Kira, are you all right? Honestly, I'm not great. I see. Then it is fortunate I came along. I think so too. This feeling gets worse the closer we get to Elam. Everything about Elam is unpredictable. Will you two be all right? What Kira is experiencing is unusual, but there is no cause for worry. Not yet, at least. Besides, we really shouldn't pass up a chance to figure out what's happening with us. When you came back from Elong, Scourge and I both got this weird feeling, like we just uncovered a memory. It's unclear, but familiar. Like a dream. I tried to help Kira and Scourge clarify the details of what they sensed, to bring their feelings into focus. But my guidance could only do so much. We all agreed that further exploration was necessary. Scourge traveled to a place I am unfamiliar with. There are ruins there that he suspects may have a connection to Darth Null. I wish the big guy was here. I can't remember the last time I did something like this without him. It is for the best. Your paths will join again, though you must walk alone for now. My hope is that being in the presence of this fortress on Elon will make sense of the strange feelings you are having. And whatever these feelings are, if they have something to do with Darth Null, then maybe they could help you figure out what Malgus was trying to do. Guess we're about to find out, one way or another. The recovery team task force Nova sent should have plenty to tell us. Before we discuss anything else, it would be best if Kira and I familiarized ourselves with this place. We'll meet you at the camp after we look around for a bit. We won't wander off too far. Oh, hello! Talo Strelik. I am honored to make the acquaintance of one so esteemed and to see that you've taken an interest in my work. This has certainly been one of the most intriguing expeditions I've ever participated in, even after all my time in the Reclamation Service. And working with a Jedi historian, I have learned many insights that are broadening my knowledge of Force-related antiquities. Sounds like you've learned a lot since you've been here. An apt observation. Believe it or not, this fortress may not have been as isolated as we first believed. Sifting through the wreckage, I have uncovered several artifacts that bear striking similarities to relics discovered on previous archaeological digs, on worlds far from this one. Once the relics here are thoroughly documented, I will conduct a full investigation into these connections. Perhaps it could provide a map that identifies other locations Amalgus targeted. Oh, I shudder to think what other priceless sites he may have ransacked if you hadn't stopped him. Malgus may be locked up, but that doesn't mean we should let our guard down. I completely agree. If you are so inclined, I would encourage you to examine some of the relics for yourself. You'll find them around the camp. Even the uninitiated can feel the power radiating off of them. But I do ask that you use caution when handling them. Do let me know if I can be of any further assistance.
Hello again, my friend. I'm sure you're eager to hear what we've discovered since the last time you were on Elam. To be honest, it's not looking promising. How so? There wasn't a whole lot to find that wasn't completely demolished. The team here has carefully studied everything that survived Malgus's attack, but we haven't identified the purpose of the device inside the fortress ruins. Why are you all just standing around? I didn't come here for a social call. My hope is that you could provide some wisdom, give us a perspective we hadn't considered yet. Especially since you and Tao saw so much of this area before Malgus attacked. This... this is... Kira? It all makes sense. This feeling I have, why it's so strong. This is from Darth Null's machine. The one Malgus blew up? We think so, yeah. No. She was one of us. A child of the Emperor. Valkorian had other children? Not that kind of children. Children of the Emperor? The ones possessed by the old Sith Emperor? Aren't they all gone? It's complicated. The children have been around for centuries, like the servants. The ones we stopped from killing Master Satil. But unlike the servants, we weren't eager recruits. The Sith took people and implanted them with a small piece of the old Emperor's power. The things he could make us do. And we didn't even know what was going on when he did it. Well, most of us didn't. But the Emperor is gone. If he had any control left over the remaining children, that connection has been severed. So why is Malgus so interested in one of the old Emperor's puppets? One who hasn't been around for centuries? There may be someone who could tell us. Sahar Katin. Who is that? She was the Padawan of Master Denom Orr, the leader of the expedition team that Malgus attacked. Sahar and Master Orr lived in our colony on Osis. They're... they were... good friends. We've scoured every corner of these ruins. Everyone Master Orr brought to Elam has been accounted for, except Sahar. And? I'm not wasting time tracking down a Padawan, if that's what you're asking. She must have seen Malgus while he was here. If we find her, we'll know what she knows. I hope Sahar's okay. Wherever she is. Hey, don't worry. We'll find her. Our next priority will be identifying anything that could lead us to Sahar. In the meantime, you should go straight to the source for more information. Speak to Malgus. You think he'll say anything? From what I understand, Malgus has unwavering confidence in his plans, despite his capture. And if he thinks destiny is on his side, who knows what he'll say? Let us hope he offers something useful. I fear that our work has only just begun. Rikon? It's me. It's Sahar. Wait. Rikon! Please! Stop! What is wrong with you? I risked everything to be here and you won't even listen to me! If I hadn't saved you, who knows what these slavers would have- What in blazes are you talking about? I'm not a slave. But... But I thought- You left. You don't know anything. This should have been my fight. My chance at greatness. But you stole it from me. Again. I'm... I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry, Rakan. For everything. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that, and... And I'm sorry for leaving you behind. I regret it. All the time. I would give anything to go back and do things differently. I know I can never completely make it up to you, but... Please. Can I at least try? You're all I have left. Whatever you need, I can help you. I don't need you. But I do know someone who can use you. Follow me. Keep up and keep quiet. Or you're finished. There you are. We tried warming him up, but it went about as well as you'd expect. He wasn't particularly forthcoming. Perhaps you'll have better luck? Let's talk about Elam. What were you doing in Darth Null's fortress? Are you really not going to say anything? Give us some privacy. Are you certain? I think this is the best way to get him to say something. We'll leave you to it. Don't let your guard down. All I want is to understand your intentions. What you were doing and why. Why are you so interested in a child of the Emperor? You are hopeless. What did you say? You're a fool. A witless, miserable wretch. And your desperate flailing against the inevitable is pathetic. You failed to see what was right before your eyes. Darth Null was no child of the Emperor. She was the first. The mother of them all. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor. She hunted the quarry. She broke them. Indoctrinated them. His power, his will, but her methods, her inventions, until the Emperor no longer found her useful. It's a good thing we smashed all of her toys before we threw you in here. Do you think a Sith like Darth Null had no other designs? Do you think the secrets buried in that fortress will stay hidden forever? This is beyond your control. Everything my plan required to succeed has happened. My vision will come to pass. Nothing you do will stop this. Step back. Now. Remember who's in control. Step out of line again, and I will kill you. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor? That's... way worse. Malgus must have wanted to create something similar. An army of unwitting slaves. What a horrible thing to do. 
Even for Malgus. I mean, the bar is pretty low for him. Did Malgus say anything else? He said that capturing him stopped nothing. That Null's secrets wouldn't stay hidden forever. Sounds like he was bluffing. Scourge and I spent years hunting down the last of the old Emperor's followers. And even we didn't find anything about Null. And since we became aware of her existence, no one in the Force Enclave has found anything. Non-existent records. A ruined fortress. The Emperor obviously got rid of Null and destroyed all of the evidence for good measure. Not everything, apparently. What do you mean? While you were having a chat with Malgus, Master Nostral sent these audio files over. They're from a data pad his team found after you left Elam. Expedition report. Day 4. Jedi Master, Delon Ur, Elam Recovery Team Leader. The more we examine the powerful device at the center of these ruins, the more concerned I become. There is a dark energy that radiates from it. One that I recognize all too well. I fear how being so close to it affects Sahar. But I must put my uneasiness aside for now. My focus must be finding and destroying the Holotron Null left here. All of her designs, her plans, could be within. I will not stop until I erase every last dark stain left by the children of the Emperor. I must rectify all that we have done. Did anyone know this Jedi was a child of the Emperor? What else do you think he was hiding? I'm sure he had a good reason for keeping that little secret close to the chest. Master Orr mentioned a holocron. I didn't see one at the recovery team's camp. Neither did I. Didn't see anything about a holocron in the artifact list the recovery team sent over. So, we've got a missing Padawan and a missing holocron. Could be unrelated, but I stopped believing in coincidences a long time ago. We should focus on locating the holocron before someone else decides to use it. And there's no guarantee that it's in the possession of Master Orr's Padawan. I don't like that she's out there, alone. Finding her should be our highest priority. I like this plan. Any major decisions can be made once we actually locate Saha Kadeen or the Holocron. Fair enough. This has all been... a lot. I think I'll go meditate for a while. While we're on the subject of locating Darth Null's relics, I believe Arkan has an update on the investigation you tasked him with. The search has been... difficult. This world is even more unusual than Santa Ray could have prepared me for. But I found something. There are ruins here abandoned long ago. What is left of the walls are covered in strange markings that I do not recognize. I tried to go further inside, but an overwhelming force energy keeps me from entering. Whoever left this place did not want it disturbed. Without a closer look, it will be impossible to learn anything about what Darth Null left here. I'm sorry. I feel as though I failed you. Looks like a dead end. What do we do now? If Argon requires assistance, I am ready to offer it. I will go to these ruins and search them myself. I would appreciate any support that can be spared. But the final decision is yours. If you need help, then it's yours. Sana Ray will join you soon. Thank you. I will prepare for her arrival, and we'll return to Odessa as soon as we know more. I will not fail you again. That was everything on the agenda. I appreciate all of your hard work, but there's still so much left to do. Let's get back to it. Chate, you answered. Shay, you wouldn't be calling unless it was something big. Right you are. Been a long hunt, but I found the vermin's nest. It's on an old dirtball of a planet called Runic. Looks like the traitor got a lot more spineless parasites to rally around her than I planned for.
I know my limits. I can't take her down alone. Too many fools standing between her and me. But if you help me cut through the trash, I'll make her face me. We can end this once and for all. It's time for Hedda Cole to pay. <laughs>